What's up guys, it's Jake. Uh, welcome to another episode of Let's Talk. Um, how are you going? How was your weekend? Uh, leave some comments down below, that'd be fantastic. Um, today I really wanted to talk about um, something that's that, that I feel for me was a big accomplishment uh, recently. Um, I, re I ended up facing my fears uh, this weekend. Um, I made some mistakes uh, in doing so, but um, you know I've acknowledged them, I've learned from them, um, and I'm dealing with them. Um, so let's uh, let's get into that. Um, you know, I think it was uh, I think it was the late great Albus Dumbledore that said um, it takes courage to to stand up to your uh, enemies, um, but it takes more courage to stand up to your friends. And I, I think it's very important. You know, I, I think that that is very a very important thing to remember because it is not always easy to talk to your friends about the hard issues. Um, and over this past week, I I have definitely um, faced some tough challenges head on. Um, I've definitely made some mistakes, um, but I, I I feel like you know, moving forward, I think, I think this weekend was definitely a step forward in the right direction. Um, it's definitely made me look at, uh, the bigger picture. It's definitely made me realize the kind of person that I want to be or the type of person that I want to become long-term. Um, and it's really made me evaluate, um, you know, the, the type of life that I want to have. Um, so first of all, let's uh let's begin let's begin with the saturday so on saturday i attended um my best mate's housewarming party i had crippling anxiety for most of the day i'm not gonna lie um i held it very very close to my heart um i spent most of the day with a, a gut ache and a headache because that is what my anxiety does to me when i am nervous or I am, I find things difficult to face. Um, and thankfully, uh, I had the best time. Um, I, dis despite being worried about going to the party, I actually had a fantastic time. I was very blessed to have my friends there supporting me. I had, um, I had, uh, a very good friend of mine um, make the journey down just to spend the evening with me um, to help get me through uh, the party, um, and it was it was lovely. I think it it, it took a lot of courage um, and a lot of uh, stubbornness for me to to attend this party, um, <coughs> knowing oh, sorry guys, uh, knowing full well. Um, that there may or may not have been a trigger um and i could have been triggered at any time but i really um i, I really appreciate my friends who were there who helped me through that experience um and i feel a lot stronger moving forward um as a person because of it and i feel like you know that was the first event and now i'm going on to the next one now Prior to that event, I actually, I had to go and sit down um, with with my best mate and his lovely fiance, and I, I had to have a hard, um, a hard conversation with them. Um, my idea was that I wanted, I wanted them to kind of see my perspective, um, try and envision what attending this event might have been like uh, through my eyes. Um, but I am very um, aware that, you know, that that was also a lot of my anxiety talking. Um, and I think we kind of forget that, you know, communication is is just so vital to um, to making sure that we can definitely, you know, take on these challenges, even even if we take on these challenges and it, and it doesn't work out in the end. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very thankful to both, uh, both Brandon and Dakota for their understanding, um, for their patience 
and for the way that they handled the situation themselves it's it's definitely a credit to you guys um on your ability to communicate to understand and and to really um really bring uh, the friendship that we have uh into those those difficult times so thank you thank you very much um another person uh that i really want to thank for um helping me through the event is my friend jess um jess made the trek down from geraldton um she drove six hours just to spend uh the evening with me um she made the event so much fun uh, she's very chatty, you know, it, it was very easy to be um, distracted and not really think about my anxiety too much. Um, so to Jess, thank you very much for everything that you've done. Um, you know, and, and even for your, the, the way that you pushed me the next day. Um, so guys, I, as, as many of you guys know, um, I still struggle with, you um, dealing with and and seeing um my my ex-partner um this is more of a response uh response based thing my that is that is within myself um i i have been doing what is called um social avoidance um which is a very unhealthy thing that was pointed out to me by my uh my psychiatrist where um anytime that uh, a situation arises with her, I tend to just distance myself from it and not, not deal with it. I kind of just go and hide, um, and, and wait for, for her to leave or wait for the situation to be over because I don't want to deal with it. And the reality of that situation is, is I'm not dealing with it and it's not healthy and I need to face, I need to face those things that, that scare me. Um, so I went into her place of work. Um, she wasn't there, but it was pure and simply just going into that building. Um, and I, I mean, I spent the whole time, spent the whole time sh shaking a little in fear. But once again, um, Jess really showed me that, you know, you, you can find strength, um, in those around you and, and really, um, draw on the support of your friends and, and the people that care. And sometimes you just need a little push. Um, and I am, I am super thankful, um, for, for Jess pushing me into that situation. Um, you know, she managed, she helped manage the situation very well. She, she kept me nice and calm. Um, we had a lot of time, uh, a lot of fun, um, uh, shopping. Um, so, you know, thank you for that. And I, and I, I feel like, moving forward um i am definitely going to keep uh facing these challenges head on um because the, the thing we got to remember is is that fear and anxiety and stress you know they are they are perfectly normal emotions to have um in response to specific situations um and i and i feel like i feel like that it is important that we feel those things because the next time it's not going to be so bad you know we we definitely we don't build up a resistance but we definitely learn how to manage them the other thing that i wanted to talk to you guys about today was um having people in your life that are going to tell you things straight you know i i did something that i'm not proud of uh recently something that i deeply regret um and that I am going to make sure never happens again. But I was so thankful for my friend to tell me straight up that, hey, that's not okay. It's not cute. It's not adorable. It's not okay. Um, and the disappointment and, and the guilt you know, I, I am now dealing with that, but I also understand that at the time I made that choice and, and that's, that's not me. That's not who I am. Um, I am, I am very ashamed of that choice and I, you know, now I, now I have to live with the consequences of that because when we do make choices, guys, we, 
there are always going to be positives and negatives and and consequences and rewards and at, at, at the end of the day we have to own our mistakes because if we don't own our mistakes you're never going to grow um and it, and i just hope that in owning my mistakes that i will be able to move forward as a person to be seen as the person that i want to be seen as because i'm not I, I i don't go out of my way to to come across as a bad guy i don't go out of my way to hurt people i don't go out of way, my way to upset people i i do something called self sabotage where part of my brain goes, okay, Jake, you've had enough happiness now. We need to do something to fuck this up. Um, and, and it's ridiculous and it's, it's negative self-talk and it is something that I'm working through with my therapist. Um, and ideally at the end of the day, I will be able to remove that aspect of my, my personality and move forward as a person, but I I really feel like this weekend has definitely taught me a lot. Um, it may or may not have cost me a lot. And the best that I can do is make sure that I continue to grow as a person. So fingers crossed that this weekend marked the, the, um, beginning of a, of a new era. Um, and the beginning of, um, hopefully, uh, you know, that journey through the dark tunnel and, and finding the light at the end of it. So guys, I would love to hear from you guys, you know, have you, how do you guys deal with fear? How do you deal with anxiety? How do you deal with, you know, mistakes that you've made? Um, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback. I would love to hear the ways that you manage and deal with things. Um, yeah. All right, guys, that's all from me. Um, and yeah, have a fantastic day. It's cold and wet here, but uh, hopefully it's shaping up to be a good week. All right, guys, take it easy. Hey, guys, I hope you liked that video. For more cool content, make sure to go and check out my channel. Hit like and subscribe down below. Leave some comments if you feel like it. And I'll see you in the next one. Be nice and work hard.